Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I'm Kira if you're new, Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com. In today's video, I am going to talk about a pattern that I've spoken about quite a few times on my channel before but this time it has been updated, overhauled, it just had a full makeover, it has new expanded sizing and I also did a little pattern mashup. So today we're chatting about the Sybil Skirt Collection by Love Notions. Today's Friday, which means I will be chatting today about the Feature Friday pattern over at Love Notions. And today's one is a really, really good one. I don't know about you, but any pattern that has seven different options screams my name. Like that is bang for your buck. This is a steal of a deal as today's Feature Friday pattern. It's only $5 today. And for the rest of the weekend, since it's a re-release, it's gonna be on sale for $10. The regular price is $14. So you want to grab this pattern for five dollars today now like i said this is one of my favorites i've featured it on my channel and on my blog a few times before i mean you really can't go wrong with seven different styles actually this is the only knit skirt that i can ever remember using in the history of me sewing patterns i can't remember using any other knit skirt pattern this is the only one i've used it's probably the only one i will ever use it leaves you wanting absolutely nothing you cannot go wrong with seven styles so the all Sabelle illusion skirt collection pattern only went up to 3x and that was on tammy's older block this time it has been completely updated and re-release it's now on the new block the fit is pretty much the same the styles are the same but it's had a little bit of a makeover and now it goes up to 5x which is love notions extended size range that is a maximum waist of 49 and a half inches and a maximum hip of 59 and a half inches for reference i usually make the large or the extra large it all depends on the fit i'm going for and sometimes i grade from the large to the extra large it also depends on fabric how much stretch your fabric has so in terms of fabric you want to think of the more stable knits like double knit, french terry, ponty, scuba and of course you can change the fabric type depending on the style for the more swingy styles you probably want something with a little bit more drip and for the pencil styles you probably want something that is going to give you that <laughs> sucking factor so let's go over the seven style options i'm going to try to remember them off the top of my head i do not have any notes in front of me i do not have my laptop in front of me today so let's see so we have pencil we have a line we have the swing then we have the drop yoke we have the asymmetrical wrap then we have the pleated and then we have the gold nailed it <laughs> so those are the seven styles in the Sybil skirt collection now so far i have made the pencil the swing and I'm sharing with you today my asymmetrical version that I mashed with my favorite wrap dress ever, which is also a Love Notions pattern. It's the Willow wrap dress, and this is what you're looking at here right now. And of course, you would have seen it in the thumbnail already anyway. Now, what I love about this pattern is that there are two lengths. You have the knee length and the midi length. I have used both lengths already. And you also have two waistband options. So you have the yoga waistband, which is that typical folded over waistband. Or there is the control top option which you can put power mesh in and have that really that really really suck in kind of spanx effect i have never tried that one because i find that a regular yoga waistband has enough negative ease that i already have the suck in effects with that one anyway and for me that is a comfortable suck in but of course that is just personal preference the point is the option is there so you can do the control top if you so desire so now let me share with you the versions that i have made so far i will also link the videos or respective blog posts each of these makes down in the description box below so this is my swing version this is a knee length swing and this fabric is snake prints as you can see and it is scuba crepe so it really doesn't have that much stretch which is why the waistband fits so snug and so nice but because of the crepe factor in this scuba it's extremely drapey and perfect for the swing style so i will go ahead and insert a photo of what this looks like on 
And then this is my absolute favorite pencil skirt ever. I wear this all the time. This is a stretch jacquard fabric. And I really played around with fabric placements because as you can see, it is a border print fabric. And I tried my best to use the plain piece as the waistband. This is what the back looks like. And again, this does not have too much stretch. It's just stretchy enough to be really, really comfortable, but it does have that nice snug waistband. Now with this one, I didn't even bother to hem because of the way the skirt is made. The fabric, sorry, because of the way the fabric is made, it does have these like rib stripes going across. So I just cut the hem on one of those rib stripes and that is never going to free. So this is what, let me just show you what the inside of this fabric looks like, just in case you've never watched that video. This is what the wrong side of the fabric looks like. Not that that matters, but I just thought it would be interesting. So this is my favorite pencil skirt ever. Both of these are size large. The next make I had with a Sibyl was a mashup. I mashed up the Labella Donna and the Sibyl and my husband named that one the Sibyl Donna. I have all the details for how to do that mashup in a blog post. So I will go ahead and link that below. I don't have it in front of me because it is kind of long because that is actually in between the knee length and the middle length. I figured it would be a little bit difficult to show especially with the dormant sleeves of the La Bella Donna because I did do the three quarter sleeves on the La Bella Donna for that one. That one is kind of like a slight bat wing style dress where the top is a little bit looser, a little bit blousy and there's that nice fitted Sibyl pencil skirt at the bottom. For that one I use the extra large, the extra large skirt, I can't talk today. I use the extra large skirt because I didn't want it to be too too fitted and that rib knit that I used for that definitely did not have the correct stretch requirement. So that one is a straight extra large. And of course, you'll be seeing the picture on the screen of what it looks like on. Now, the Sibyl skirt is actually mashable with the Tessa sheath dress, as well as the Margo peplum top. But y'all know me, I like to cross boundaries. I like to do my own thing and experiment. I just try out fun, new, creative ideas. So like you saw with the Sibyl Donna, this time I chose to mash the Sibyl asymmetrical wrap skirt with the willow wrap dress, the top from the willow wrap dress. That's my favorite knit wrap dress pattern ever. And even with that one, I've started hacking that one as well. I don't know, I'm just really into hacking and mashing right now. So this is my little mashup here. I know you can't see the asymmetrical hem, but I will have close-ups and I'll have photos as usual so you can see all the details. Now this mashup is probably the easiest mashup I have ever done in my entire life. Like when I tell you I made absolutely no changes, like with the La Bella Donna, you have to cut the top at the waist before you add on the skirt. This is the exact top portion from the Willow wrap dress in size large, sewn as is, no alterations. And the skirt is the asymmetrical wrap from the Sibyl skirt collection. This is size large waist graded to extra large hip, sewn as is, <laughs> no alterations. And I just connected it to at the waist, omitting the waistband. Now, like I showed you with my pencil one, I think you can really tell from the shape that the waistband is made to really pull in the waist. So omitting the waistband on this means that there is a looser waist and the waist of the skirt was a little bit bigger than the waist of the top. So all you have to do is just stretch the waist of the top slightly to just ease in that extra from the waist of the skirt and sew it as normal. Or if you want a really snug waist, you can just use the waistband measurement from the Sibyl. Obviously you won't fold it over. <laughs> you would probably just do half of the width. Connect the top to one side, connect the bottom to one side, and you're good to go. You'll have a nice, thick, snug band in between the two pieces, or just add elastic in the seam. No, I cannot explain to you how much I love this looser waist on this dress. You cannot even tell from the photos, like it does not even look that loose so i think you can get away with it but it is just the comfiest dress ever and this fabric is a really really soft brushed sweat in it so nice so it's just so comfy and obviously i'll know in my climates i couldn't really do like an, a thick fabric right now because it is so hot but this is really really lightweight so it won't make me hot at all 
Now, one of the main things I love about the asymmetrical wrap of the skirts is this nice little neat mitered corner and I'll have a close-up somewhere on the screen. So it just goes together seamlessly and it's really neat on the inside. And I just love the way the wrap of the skirt goes with the wrap of the top. So my husband has now named this one Sibilo. And I think Sibilo is one of my favorite mashups ever. The one single change I would make next time is I would do a small full seat adjustment on the skirt because the girl is just constantly going up in weight and my butt is starting to lift up <laughs> skirts at the back. So this is not specific to this pattern. This is every skirt from now on. I do need to do a small full seat adjustment just to account for my skirt, my butt lifting up the skirts at the back because then the back ends up a little bit shorter than the front. I don't like that. Apart from that, I'm definitely going to make this again. I highly encourage you to try this mashup if you have both of these patterns. It's super easy. You just make them separately as is according to the instructions in each pattern and then you just join them at the waist and my light just turned off itself. I'm sorry if my lighting looks different guys but I literally just had to go and search out my entire light. That one just stopped working out of the blue. I don't know what's going on but anyway as i was saying this is literally the easiest mashup ever and if you can't tell already this bill is a really really good base for hacking this is probably the knit skirt i'm going to use every time i want to do a mashup that involves a knit skirt my sibilla donna came out really nice and my sibilla came out even better like this did not let me down at all i'm already throwing hints at her be like i need to go on a date in this dress it is super comfy i can't eat <laughs> funny enough i was actually really really bloated when i took these photos and because of the looser waist so comfortable you guys and the asymmetrical wrap adds an extra layer to conceal the tummy area perfection i love 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 how this dress turned out i could not be happier and the thing is i did not have time to do any sort of muslins or anything for this mashup i just went in head first <laughs> whipped up a willow really wrap top whipped up my asymmetrical skirts and just merged them together at the waist hoping for the best and i was not disappointed at all so if you want to grab the sibyl skirt collection remember it is on sale today for five dollars only for feature friday and then it will go to ten dollars through the rest of the weekend and then it will go back to regular price which is fourteen dollars if you want to check out any of my prior sibyl mix like i said i would have all the links in the description box below i also have a blog post on this one if you want to go and have a little read as well and now let's take a look at my photos guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give me a huge thumbs up also don't for click don't for click also don't forget to click the subscribe button down below on your way out i also wanted to mention that my blog post on the sibylla donna is actually a blog post about pattern mashing so that one in particular i encourage you to go check out to get some tips and tricks about pattern mashing i tried to keep this video really short and sweet because again still renovations going on around me plus i've rambled about this pattern a few times on my channel already anyway so now you can go and watch those older videos if you didn't get a chance to watch them before let me know what you guys think about my sibilo follow me on instagram at island socialist go show me some love on my sibilo post i am out and i will catch you guys in my next video bye